Freud. Not going to get involved with the yeah. deuce four. Freud. And three. Okay. Battle of the blinds then. And call. Okay. Well, that's uh, a no-brainer for Mario. It's only 800 for Bailey. He'd call with any two 1, here. 800, 800 more, please. He's behind Bailey, but not by much. Jacka and I to change things. Well, the seven hits doesn't really matter. He was ahead anyway. Still a Jack or a nine. Now an eight for the straight. Straight. There it is. Crawl way to go out for Mario. Bailey takes down another pot. Just think that Mario was a little tentative early on. Had a couple of opportunities he could have doubled through. Preferred to fold. He's gone. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Against uh, good players, no? um, the tournament is um, more, more, uh, more good. Organization is perfect. It's, uh, the the blind structure um, uh, permit the. Uh, uh, play a good poker. Yes. Okay? Uh, a good poker. A Scot, a Bulgarian, and a Brazilian will battle it out right after this break. Share the passion of the poker race trophy presented by fun.pokerroom.com. Welcome back to Brands Hatch where we are three handed. For this poker race trophy, Mark Bailey, Christo Todorov, Newton Valerio. Ford. Six. Call. No way that Christo wants to play the Queen Four. Valerio has woken up with a hand though. Queen Six and Six is first. Mark going to raise it. And now he's paid the penalty because Bailey's outflopped him. Two pair for the Scot. Flush draw though for Valerio. And two overs to the board. He's not going anywhere with this. There's the bet. Eight thousand to Bailey, who knows if he calls and wins, he can take out his most dangerous opponent. But he's not sure if he's good here. He fears his opponent might have slow played a big hand. Might have a big pair. It doesn't more. Might have a seven. And even if he puts him on a draw, he's got to sweat it. So only in 9, Valerio actually the favourite here, although Bailey is ahead at the moment. So it would be another six and a half thousand. No, eight, eight thousand more. more for you. Right. This is paid from him. Yeah. And this is more, eight thousand plus. Big, big decision. More difficult because. Valerio didn't raise pre-flop. Fold. <coughs> Fold. fold and six to winner. Although he had the best hand, I think that was a pretty disciplined fold from Bailey. So much was beating him. Four with a better kicker for a start. Well, this could be a good sorry. battle if, uh, well, either of these two players against and Bailey, sorry. who's the big stack. Big blind, please. Thank you. Okay. Um, yes? Yes. This is a war of attrition, 141 hand, uh, hands we played. That's five. Bailey raising it up with the king height. Have to change gears at this All stage. In. The Perfect. lines All are big All in. and that's uh, an easy decision for Todorov. All in with the ace king. Oh, Valerio's uh, going to oblige him here. Six is, please. Six is all in with 5,800. <laughs> it's odds, odds, odds. They're both 10, all in. 10,300 all in. Five is 10,300. Against Bailey. Six is 5,800 all in. You can see Todorov's a big favourite here. Did Bailey say raise?
Buena. Ford. Ford. Now he's going to throw him away. Oh, for a minute, he said race. That would have been a move. So Ace Jack, the Ace King. Ace Jack in a real bad spot here. Todorov. <laughs> Thank you, pardon. Todorov's got the Ace King. Polario has the Ace Jack. Can he find a nade? <clears throat> Not yet. Another nine hits the ball, that doesn't matter. Got to be a jack. It's not. The ace king holds up. And we are down to two. Newton Valerio from Brazil, who played really well tonight, I thought. Made a couple of nice moves, one very early on Bailey. Has been eliminated in third place. I was very unlucky to lose ace king against ace three. Well, he's right with that. Luck is a, an important part of this. Bailey has fractionally more chips than Todorov, but it's tight. Anyone's tournament, this. Been really impressed with Tristo Todorov tonight, considering his lack of experience. Slow played uh, one big hand earlier beautifully. So no action really on the first hand, a heads up play. Pocket fours, any pairs, big heads up. And there's the race. So 4700 then. Four. Round to Risto and he can't call with the Queen 5. We know it would have been a race, but of course he didn't have that information. Good pressure from Bailey. Looking to join Shokakis from Latvia, Petteri from Finland, and his fellow Scott Neil Stewart in that uh, final in Vienna. You have to small dice. Oh, sorry. Okay. But call. You call, okay. Black call oh, yeah. from Todorov. Call. And Bailey's got a big hand. All in, he says. No messing around. No finesse. Just comes down to how Todorov thinks Bailey's mind is working. Well, he has called it. I don't think he, he put him on a hand like Ace 10. His King and Jack are alive, though. Fifteen, and Bailey 15, knows he is just five cards away okay. from a place in the final in Vienna in the big money. But he's got to dodge a few cards yet. Here comes the flop. Jack King needed for Todorov. No good so far. One card to come. Eight, nine... Ten wouldn't work. Yeah, Nine doesn't work. He's there. He's done it. Bailey is our champion. We had a lot of fun, yeah. Um, put the organisation by poker, uh, fun dot poker room and Eurosport's been really good as well. It was a really tough game. Um, I managed to get the chip lead quite early on, and I, th I thought it might go okay from there. But then I had a really bad spell, and was down to uh, five, six thousand chips again. But luckily the, the cards were nice in the end. <laughs> they were nice. Well done to Mark Bailey. Thought he showed some real game tonight. It's been a very, very enjoyable competition. He'll be there in Austria. I'm Trevor Harris. Join us next time on Eurosport Poker. Good night for now.